Hey everyone, this is a project that I've been working on uh, with MicroPython and one of these LilyGo TTGo boards. So what it is, is a full app engine thingy. So we've got a, a scroll button to scroll through the apps, or you can hold it to quick scroll, and a select button to choose your current menu item. So we've got a couple apps here. Let's check out the stopwatch app. Now all these apps are actually just a uh, file of Python code that gets auto discovered if it's on the file system by this app engine. So it works uh, pretty much like you would think an app should work. So we've got our start and our stop. Like you might expect. We've got a tally counter app. Now all of these apps use the same format, which is a title line that doubles as a data display line and a scrollable menu. And uh, apps could have either an icon or no icon, or they can use the default icon, which is what these are doing here. And if we go into the settings, you can actually see we can select that default icon. Let's go to no icon. Get rid of that. Uh, we can change the title font. Let's go with Roman. We can change the title foreground color. Make that orange. We can make it pretty much all of these theme options can be changed. We can also select our default boot app. So if we go there, we can say, let's boot directly into calculator. Exit to save. Now when we reset, we are in our calculator app with all of our theming settings. And let's enter some math with this very slow text editor here. Plus three, That's good enough, except four. And the way this actually works is it's not uh, quite a normal calculator. It's actually just using MicroPython's eval function. So if we wanted to set a variable and we had plenty of time to scroll through all of this. We could totally do that. So equals to, let's recall that E and we get a two. And that's not very practical because it is so slow. So let's exit out of that. And that's about it. So the idea is with the default boot app, you can kind of use it pretty much like a dedicated single purpose device. So I think that something like this with a few more buttons could be super useful in home automation. And what I want to do is make a little board that has a couple mechanical keyboard keys that are like nice and clicky. So you can control your remote, your uh, smart lights and things that way. But anyway, take care guys. I will leave all of the code in the description. Uh, this is a customized version of MicroPython because uh, the traditional MicroPython can't control Wi-Fi power saving and this can actually maintain a connection while it's in sleep mode. And uh, to do that, we need a couple changes. And to get the display library, we have to include some C modules. But I'll leave all the code in the description. Take care.